Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Joffy Noodle Legs here today with Sullivan. Uh, got another top 10 today. He wants to come and say hello. Oh, here he is. Hello everybody. Hello everybody. Yeah, so we've got a top 10 today. Uh, I'm in my living room today. Just thought while I'm down here and I've got a few of the movies down here, I'll, I'll do the top 10 down here. Right, so I'm doing my top ten um, westerns. It, it was going to come, and it is, and it's here now. The top ten westerns. Uh, I will probably go upstairs later and find all the films that I also love because I've got quite a few movies down here. Just so sometimes I ain't got to go away upstairs or blah blah blah, you know. Um, so I've got a few down here, and I'm just thinking, oh, I'm going to think, oh, I've missed this out, and I'm already thinking now. Oh, God, there's a couple of films that I've got upstairs that I've missed out. So what I'm going to do first, before I get to the top ten, I'll do a few honourable mentions. Uh, I'll do the three that I've got here and a couple upstairs that's in my mind. Uh, first of all, honourable mention that it's in this box set here. Some of these you're going to see in a box set because I've got like a big box set of um, westerns and they contain like about 30 westerns. So, um, yeah, one's on here. And this is Clint Eastwood's uh, Outlaw of Josie Wales. Typical Clint Eastwood film, um, fantastic film. It's a um, he plays an outlaw, Josie Wales. So not a lot more to say about that. Uh, another one doesn't get talked about a lot. Um, it's a Brad Pitt film, and it's the uh, assassination of Jesse James. Again, Jesse James is a well-known outlaw, and it's and it's about the assassination of Jesse James. I don't want to go into too much detail on stuff in case you guys haven't seen these films but they're definitely worth checking out or they wouldn't be in here if they're not good um these are great i've got this really cool box set and it's got loads of movies in it, it really has uh another one that's in that box set in this set there is uh clint eastwood's pale rider that's a really really good film that one there that one there um fantastic film really really cool um, again, he plays like an, uh, an outlaw, it's so like a good guy sort of thing. It, his films are fantastic. They really, really are. Um, and the other two that I was thinking of that I've got upstairs, I just thought, oh, I should have brought them down, is Paint Your Wagon um, with Lee Marvin and Clint Eastwood again. And oh, that's such a good, good film. Um, it really, really is. Um, it's, um, it's a musical and it's a comedy. And hearing Clint Eastwood singing is kind of weird. But it's a really, really good film. Paint Your Wagon. And the other one I've got upstairs is The Magnificent Seven. Uh, with, with the big cast. Earl Brenner, um, Charles Bronson. You know, the really big sort of cast. Great film. Um, I haven't got them here. So they got honourable mentions. So I'm going to get into my top ten, I think. Rather than waste too much of your time. Number ten, we've got a Sergio Leone film. So, a Leon Sergio film, which is a spaghetti western, um, and it's Clint Eastwood again, and it's The Good, The Bad, The Ugly. Such a good film. Um, I do love Sergio Leon films. They're really, really cool. I love spaghetti westerns. And these ones, because they always had, spaghetti westerns were always sort of gritty and had that sort of like real authentic feel to it, how it must have been. Uh, I think that's why... Um, they got their own audience, Spaghetti Western, whereas like a normal traditional sort of John Ford Western were more family friendly, acceptable Westerns. Um, and these were more gritty and sort of like, um, yeah, there's, they're not afraid to put a little bit of blood in the film and stuff like that if you're being shot. Not a lot, but they're always like a little bit more gritty than a normal Western. Um, and, they, and they tackle harsh sort of storylines. This one here, is about Clint Eastwood and he's a Mexican friend that are going out committing crimes all around the country. And there's a sheriff, a marshal chasing them around the country, Lee Van Cleef, um, to, 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 rid, to, to rid the country of those outlaws. Really, really good film. Number nine is a horror western with Kurt Russell and it's the Bone Tomahawk. This is a really good film. It's about a, a group of cannibals that live uh, like a cannibal tribe that live in like this cave area and they've kidnapped these sort of um uh what are they called um oh let's have a look 
settlers. That's the word I'm looking for. Settlers. They kidnapped a group of settlers. So Kurt Russell and a band of other sort of like uh, gunslingers have gone out to try and find them and bring them back. But they end up getting caught themselves and it turns into a really gory, gruesome fest near the end. It's a hard watch, Bone Tomahawk, but it's a really, really good film. It's a bit of a slow start, but when it gets going, it's like, it, it's it's like, oh, can't watch that sort of thing. It's it's quite a hard film to watch. So that's in at number nine. Number eight is a, is a Western with Leonardo DiCaprio, and it's just called The Revenant. What an amazing film it is. Fantastic. Again, it's another revenge film. Most Westerns are pretty much revenge films. Um, it's, it's about him and his son. They're like, it's like he's like a soldier, and they're out, and they get, and they try killing him off and his son, uh, and he gets left there for dead and gets attacked by a bear, and he survives and goes back to the fort, and then he goes out on revenge to the guys for his son and himself. Um, really, really awesome movie. If you've never seen The Revenant, man, it's a fantastic film. I've seen it two or three times and talking about it now makes me want to watch it right now again. So I might have to watch that later. Fantastic film. And that is in at number eight. Number seven is a remake. Now, now, remakes. Here we go. Westerns is one of the only sort of genres where remakes have been sometimes better than the original because there's a couple in here the remakes um and just because the same sort of story there but it's been brought up to date and it's got like more of a grittier feel and they've got that more polished you know the older films were more polished you know and these were more gritty so this is why i kind of like the remakes in the horror because i like my films gritty as you know so anyway i'm waffling this is uh 310 to humor with a Christian Bale and Jeff Bridges, I believe. No, Russell Crowe. What a fantastic film. I'm all over the place today, aren't I? Um, I'm expecting a delivery, so I'm quite excited. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, this is a really cool film. It's about uh, these outlaws trying to hold up this train that's got, like, a gold bullion on there. And it's about the sheriff and his posse trying to stop that from happening. It's your classic Western tale you know, and, and it's fantastic, really good film, really love the film, and uh, I've, I've seen the original, but it just doesn't hold up as good as this remake, I don't know why, it just doesn't, that's number seven, number six is an old school one, it's a, it's a proper old school John Ford film with John Wayne, and it's in one of these sets, and it's called The Searchers, I love this film, really cool, again, it's about settlers, get the word right, they go get kidnapped by Comanches. And um, so John Wayne and his posse are going searching for these um, for these settlers and trying to reason with the Comanches. And you know how these sort of films always turn out. It never turns out good. But yeah, it's such a good, good film. Really love it. I do like the old school westerns, especially John Wayne. I must do a top 10 on John Wayne films. I've got loads of John Wayne films. I really like his films. Um, but yeah, underrated film, that one, The Searchers. Really cool. So let's get to my top five. Number five is a remake uh, starring Jeff Bridges. I got it right this time. Um, and it's True Grit. Fantastic. The original with John Wayne is brilliant. But this one with uh, Jeff Bridges playing Booster Corburn is fantastic. It's got that more, it's more grittier and it's, because it's like this a 15 and it's been it's got a little bit more sort of like of a spaghetti western feel to it which i really really like and if you've never seen true grit it's about this young lady here her family gets killed and her brother gets killed it's a revenge movie so she hires um mr Coburn, who's like a well-known sort of like bounty hunter gunslinger to uh go and catch the killers often a reward and these to go along with them to, to help them out. It's a really, really good film. Really cool film, True Grit. It's, it's a masterpiece in, in when it comes to the horror Western um, genre. It's an absolute masterpiece. And if you're just getting into Westerns, there you go. There's your first one, True Grit. So we're getting into the top four. Top, 
Number four is a double film. Uh, it's another Sergio Leone films, and it's a fistful of dollars, and for a few dollars more. I had to put them both in there, because they're both excellent films, with Clint Eastwood as the man with no name. Again, he plays this wanderer that gets involved with things and outlaws. He's like an outlaw himself, but he's like a good outlaw. And he sort of, you know, he goes around and he sort of shoots all the bad outlaws, if you like. But again, even that's bad. So he's also wanted. Um, but they're really, really cool films. Really highly recommend watching uh, any of the Sergio Leone Spaghetti Western films. Spaghetti Westerns were just brilliant. They're just so gritty and a good watch. And they normally have really cool soundtracks. And uh, they got great soundtracks as you probably well known them over the years. So we get to my top three. Number three is another Spaghetti Western with James, James Corburn and Chris Christopherson and Bob Dylan. And it's called Pat Garrett and Billy the Kid. It's this one here, guys. Sorry, we've got the glare going on there. Can't do nothing about that. There we go, that one there. It's a really cool film. It's about um, Billy the Kid and Pat Garrett chasing him down. Uh, Billy the Kid is a well-known sort of like um, outlaw back in the day. And Pat Garrett, played by James Corburn, is after him. And obviously Chris Christopherson plays Billy the Kid. And, it, and it's really cool. Bob Dylan stars in it. And he also does the soundtrack for the film, which is fantastic. It's a really, really cool sort of gritty 1970s um, western. Really cool. Check it out if you've never seen that. Uh, number two... Bit of a shocker. High Noon uh, with Gary Cooper and Grace Kelly. But you all thought this was going to be my number one after my review. So I'm not going to talk about it too much. A week ago on my channel, I did a review. This gives you an excuse to go back over my channel and check out the review of High Noon. And check out some of my other videos whilst you're going over to watch that. So I won't talk about the review of that. Um, amazing film. I think I gave it a 10 out of 10. Go and watch the review. It's fantastic. That's my second favourite Western of all time. So that can only leave one more Western. My favourite Western of all time. And it stars Clint Eastwood, Gene Hackman, Morgan Freeman and Richard Harris. And it's, the un and it's Unforgiven. It's just the best Western film ever. And it's just fantastic. It's that good. It got four Oscars. Um, it's an amazing film. It's quite gory. It's very gritty. It's got the old spaghetti Western feel about it. Uh, Gene Hackman is a marshal in the town and he runs the town badly. He's run by crooks and criminals. And the local sort of um, whorehouse, sorry if this is wrong word, but that's the word that's used in. Uh, one, of the, one of the prostitutes there gets sort of badly beaten and raped. So they all get their money together, the prostitutes, and go and get um, Clint Eastwood, who lives out out of town. He lives, like, in a farm. But he, they, he's, a, he's a known sort of bounty hunter, gunslinger, outlaw. So they go and get him and his friend, Morgan Freeman, to go in and uh, get revenge on, on, on the prostitute. And also, while he's about, he goes there to clear up the town. Uh from the evil marshal. Uh, Richard Harris, he plays um, a good part as well. He, he's like a prisoner being transported with with like a writer, a guy who's writing a book about his, his, his um, ordeal over America. And it's really, really cool. It's like a little sub story, but it's really, really good. Um, but yeah, there's a, an amazing shootout at the end. And, and it's a real proper Western. It's just one of the greatest films ever made. That's why it was in my top 10 all-time favourite films. And that is why it's my all-time favourite Western. There you are, guys. That's my Westerns. And I'm sorry today. I've been a bit, I'm a bit over the place today. I think a lot going on. I've got a lot of appointments this week at the hospital. And I've not long come back from one after an x-ray. And, you know, so you've got that in the back of your head. and wonder what's going on there. And I was I'm waiting for a couple of deliveries and, and stuff like that. So my head's a little bit everywhere. But... I've managed to put together a top 10 westerns for you. Uh, sorry about the location. Um, I'm not in my uh, games room today. I'm downstairs in my living room uh, with Sullivan. He's sat here. So we just thought, because I had quite a few of these films already down here, 
I thought, well, I'll, I'll, I'll do the review up here. Um, so sorry, it's not in my usual sort of place. And I probably look shocking because I've got the sunlight coming through. <laughs> but there we go. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that top 10. Uh, I will be doing some more top 10s uh, coming out. I'm going to get back into some of the horror guys. I've, I've, I've laid off the horror for a few videos just because I don't want you to think that's all I ever watch. <laughs> it is, it's all I ever watch. But <laughs> when I'm not watching them, this is what I watch. I watch westerns and all those sort of crazy little films. But um, I will be getting, doing some more horror films, um, top tens. So uh, keep your eyes out for those. Until next time, guys, look after yourselves. Look after one another, and I really hope I'll see you all soon.